Hi there, welcome to FDIC 2018. Uh, my name is Mike Cannon, I'm the Director of Sales for Hearst Jaws of Life. And I'd like to introduce to you one of our latest product introductions, the, the S799E2 cutter. This cutter is specifically designed to address uh, essentially the toughest rescue ta challenges in auto extrication. What we're seeing is auto manufacturers are accelerating the rate of safety development at a really unprecedented rate. And what you're finding is, is harder and harder high strength steels, but not just that, profiles that are getting more and more difficult due to their diameter. So for example, I'd like to show you what you're looking at is a 2017 Ford Police Interceptor. And what we have here is a high strength steel B post that was cut in one single cut with the new 799. As demonstrated by the removed piece, you'll notice older uh, uh, B posts would be made of steels that would compress to a very small diameter. This allowed us to use cutters of a much smaller profile, and in general, the older style cutters produce their maximum force in a close to close position. We can't design uh, rescue cutters like that anymore because ultra high strength steel simply is not collapsing like it used to. So the cutter has to produce a great deal more of force at a very wide diameter. In addition with high strength steel, one of the problems you can have is what's called cutter migration or cutter rotation. What I mean by that is if we grab our cutter to cut a B post, traditional cutters have a throat that is narrow enough that I cannot attack the, the B post from this angle. Traditional cutters, I would have to attack the B post from here or the opposite side. But with the new 799, we've got over a nine and a half, or roughly a nine and a half inch throat opening that not only is nine and a half inches, but way back by the yoke, the yoke of the cutter being this part here. This part of the cutter is the strongest part of any rescue cutter. So we have a design that allows you to attack that B post at 90 degrees. So if we got cutter migration, that's okay. I got 90 degrees of rotation in each direction. So it really presents not only a single cut instead of two, but I take care of my cutter migration problem at the same time. Built on the E2 platform that we introduced in 2014. So it's new in this aspect, tried, tested, and true in some of the biggest fire departments in terms of the primary platform. Uh, this cutter will be uh, formally introduced in around July, uh, so you'll start to see the first units from our demonstration team uh, around June. So if you have any interest uh, in seeing this in person, we'd be more than happy to uh, send our rescue uh, specialists out to your fire department to try it live. Thanks a lot.